The chief of Melbourne Airport calls for easier access for international flights to Australia amid ongoing tensions with Qatar Airways. Qatar Red Crescent Society steps in to help struggling cancer patients in northern Syria. Qatar Charity organizes a trip of a lifetime for Somali orphans. And finally, another megastar in the world of football swaps Europe for Saudi Arabia. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The chief executive of Melbourne's airport said Australia's government needs to make it easier for international flights to access the country. The outcome of an open skies agreement would push for competitive fares and more international passengers, the chief said. The comments come amid an ongoing debacle in Australia that was triggered by the government's decision to reject a bid to add 21 additional flights from Qatar Airways. While the government has cited matters of national interest for its decision, industry experts say it will have a major impact on the Australian economy. Over in northern Syria, Qatar Red Crescent society has launched a hope for a cure campaign to respond to the growing plight of thousands of cancer patients. The campaign is set to help refugees and internally displaced persons living in the region, many of whom are unable to access or afford treatment. QRCS has placed a financial goal of around 5 million Qatari rials which will provide treatment for 220 Syrian refugees and IDPs for an entire year. Head over to our website to learn more about the issue from exclusive comments by humanitarian rights group Mulham. Now, 20 Somali orphans were recently sent on a trip to perform the Umrah pilgrimage. The trip of a lifetime was set up by Qatar Charity as a part of its Rufaqa initiative. The campaign will soon send more people for the pilgrimage targeting groups in need from Turkey, Somalia, Ghana and Tunisia. And finally, Neymar Jr's time at Paris Saint-Germain has officially come to an end. The Brazilian megastar agreed to a two-year deal with Saudi Pro League side Al-Hilal, becoming the latest global talent to head over to the kingdom. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.